lasers. Or well, more specifically, the one that stalks you throughout this entire map. So, and here I have what I call Test Map 12, which is in the first map pack I released. Don't ask about numbering. Uh, I have this little laser in the center here that would follow you around and harass you until you blew a hole into its little uh, control panel over here. So, I'm going to cover how to make this um, stalking laser. And first off, I'm going to take this and break it apart so you can see what was involved in it. Let me increase the grid scale a little here. Alrighty. Let's move this over. And there, you see I have two props over here. One is the prop physics that you can pick up after you blow it up. And the other one is what I is a prop dynamic that I've parented to if I zoom inside here. Not the potato, but this funk tank, which does all the grunt work for tracking the player and moving the laser around. And in place of a laser, the laser model, I have the GLaDOS potato, or potatoes as some people like to call it, parented to the funk tank with the prop dynamic here set to be, was it non-solid? Somewhere around here. Yeah, there we go. Collisions, not solid. That way the laser can actually come out instead of hitting it inside. So, let's get started. I'm going to set up the default room. Pretty much 512 box. Again, I'm using a lot of keyboard shortcuts just to speed things along. So, just remember to look over to the left here to see what uh, tools I'm using as things pop up. Okay, let's hollow this thing out. 16 is good. Let's give this a clear start. And again, my textured walls consisting of orange and gray. Now, let's make the tank stand out instead of being no drawn. That way you can see what's going on when I compile this thing. Okay. So over here, raise it up a little bit. Make it big so you can actually see what's going on. Alright. Tank, no, not traffic. Tank. Alright, let's flog this to start active. Let's give it a name. Tank. How appropriate. Alright, so let's scroll down, and here we have yaw and pitch range. Pitch, to how it moves. Oh, what axis do I want? Oh, on the Y axis. Yeah, that's right. And the R range for the Z axis. I know 180 is going to be good for the yaw range. I'm going to put it on 90 for pitch. And for rate, that's just how fast it'll spin around on its respective axis. So 30, that'll just mimic. It's up here. Now, tolerances, I haven't really found what they do. I've messed with them, added multiple tanks around, changed different values, to tried to compare them, and I couldn't really see much of a difference in how they reacted, so I'm still uncertain as to what those do. Anyways, uh, just for the sake of, well, consistency, I'll have them have the same tolerances. Now, I'm gonna change the starting angle of this to be 180. Oops, not 1 over 80, 180. Notice here in the top view that changes and not points at the player. That's just so it doesn't spin around and get to us when we start the map. Now right now we have pretty much all, mo half the work done, or a third depending on how much you want to do. All this will do right now is start around and look for a target. But we haven't specified a target so it's just going to sit there. So to remedy that, I'm going to add a Logic Auto and stick it on top here, why not. And I'm going to have an on-map spawn output and set the target entity to exclamation mark player. Now if you're unsure what that means, let me pull up Firefox over here. And that's going to give me, well, the player. For in single player, that's the only player. But in, mul in multiplayer or co-op for Portal 2, 
you might want to use PBS player. That way it'll choose the first player it can find. Or if you don't want to have that, you can use activator. And that'll make it so you can put triggers around so if someone walks through a doorway, the laser focuses on him. So, it, all what you want to do with it. Let's head back in the hammer. And, let's see here, it's set as active, I've set the target, let's, well, save it before I compile. Oh, let's just do stalking laser. Yeah. Okay, now let's give it a good comp compile. I don't need HDR, the rad rendering here. Alright, let's go down, bring up portal, and let it hijack the thread. There we go. Oh, and here we are. As you can see, the laser is now following us around. Or, well, the tank is following us around. There's no laser on it just yet. You notice I'm now spinning around. I have it at a 90 degree angle for the range, so it can't go past this point. It has to turn around. Well, moving around, I have it 180, so that's what I need from the starting point in either direction. So I can pretty much go all the way around it, and it'll follow me. Let's see, have I got one idea yet? Or 360, rather? Eh. So, that's the primary entity that gets stuff done. Let's go ahead and add a laser to this so I can show you what happens when you don't use the default uh, 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 model that has the laser attach attachment on it. So. First thing I want to do is grab a laser, slap it on the front here, and let's spin it around. Now, let's grab a potato. Yeah, potatoes world model. Okay, let's cut down on the grid size, put this in the center. Should be facing out to the side. 180, good, good, good. Start off now, let's give it a parent. Okay. Now let's skip it a pile. I keep giving it stuff, why don't I just take? Force upon it. Eh. Ow! Okay. Now if you look at the top, that's the origin of the map. 0. 0.000. Because there's no attachment for this uh, model, for the laser, the engine's putting the laser beginning, I guess you say, out in the center of the map because it has no other place to put it. That's just the default position. And if you look here, if I run into the laser, it doesn't really hurt me, but if I run away, I keep getting hit and knocked back. I think you can exploit in my uh, stalking laser map. But that is pretty much all you have to do to get a laser that follows you around. Now, to remedy the or the laser origin here. You could shift the map over, obscure it with a prop. Nothing complicated required. Or if you're so inclined, you could decompile this model, put a laser uh, attachment on it, and then the battle start at the potato. But that's pretty much it, actually.